what's up youtube i hope you guys are doing well i'm gonna be you're gonna see me in this outfit a couple times today um i think we'll start with this one though but before we start i just want to say thank you lord for allowing us to gather here virtually together and i pray that this word is a blessing to all those who listen in jesus name amen um so today's word is really it really came about very very quickly i was in the middle of driving this morning and i was reminded about a dream that i um had about a year ago right before i moved here to cali and then like I was reminded of a few things that I was I was shown um, maybe like two weeks back and so basically I'm gonna tell you the dream first and then I'm gonna tell you what I was shown and then, yeah we'll get into the word so basically the dream well a scene in a dream in the dream was I was walking along the the edge of what felt like a cliff. Um, there was this waterfall all around me. So even though like the water was clear, it was like a very deep, deep blue. Um, so I really couldn't see much else around me other than the fact that there was water encapsulating everywhere. And so I'm walking on this on this cliff under a waterfall in this dream. And there's a few moments where I'm like trying to inch back or trying to just stop, trying to see, like, but I can't do any of that because I'm literally on what feels like the edge of this cliff. So in my mind, like I can't go left i can't go right i can't go back because i can't see what's behind me and i can't even see what's in front of me other than the fact that towards the end of this waterfall there was a little bit of light just a little bit of light and i say all that to say we're gonna we're gonna get into it so fast forward i'm here in cali this year i'm about I'm about to make, I'm in my 10th month in Cali. Um, about two weeks ago, God directs my eyes towards this truck. I'm looking at the side of the truck. But then when it scooches up a little bit, the back of the truck, all it says was trust. And it listed a verse, I think it was like Isaiah 40. Isaiah chapter 40, I think it's like verse 19, something like that. Might be wrong. But bring it on home today. I'm reminded of this of the of those things on my way, and I'm thinking about everything that's going on currently in life. And a word that my dad actually sent me just to have faith and so I'm, I'm putting all these things together and I'm like okay one even though it looks crazy it's and it even feels crazy this thing that I've been experiencing the things that have been taking place with life like clearly won't be as bad as it seems and lo and behold a truck passed me today with the license plate that says you'll be good and I knew that was nothing but the Lord because me when I'm driving I can tend to be tunnel vision so when he catches my eye he catches my eye um and so I was so I literally had to sit with that for like two seconds and he was starting to minister um he started to minister about you'll be good you'll be good trust all those things like you know when the lord tells you just to trust he didn't give you no other context 
that's when you should know something's probably up there's gonna be a situation that's gonna look crazy that's gonna look um in man's eye like the end of the world <laughs> you know how we like to exaggerate um but it is going to really call for us to grow in trust. And so that led me to something I used to keep on my door. I used to have this hanging on the wall of my bedroom door in my old place. It was the scripture, 2 Corinthians 5, verses 7 and 8. Well, it was really just verse 7. For we walk by faith not by sight and so we all know that we've all heard heard that but what does that look like when literally he just says have faith trust question mark <laughs> and he just asks you for trust no other context about what's about to happen just trust so when stuff starts happening I guess the most practical thing would be to take a pause. Be like, why did he ask me to trust? And then you'll realize, oh, it's because some things are going to get crazy. And if we think about walking by faith, if we reference Hebrews 11 and 1, it tells us, let me just read it properly. I got my Bible right here chilling with me in the car it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so that means you're going to have to keep moving you're going to have to keep keep pushing through whatever it is that is happening or about to happen and it says not by sight so you're gonna have to keep walking keep standing um despite what physical sight is telling you so you might be looking with your eyes like oh i got these bills due oh i got this these appointments to make oh I got these meetings to attend but I have like zero time and I need to finish homework or something like that because you're you're in school while you're working full time or you got family obligations in the midst of ministry ob obligations you got all kinds of things happening all at once and then you're looking at what's happening in the world whether it be new viruses or <laughs> or or chaotic situations that are happening you're seeing all these things take place all at the same time and you don't see the how you don't see the way so this is your reminder and my reminder to just trust to just have faith you can't do nothing else today. Meditate on that passage where it's like his eyes on the sparrow. Like you like meditate on walking by faith and not by what you're seeing in in your physical life at the moment. This, these are those times where you would have to just know that you know that God is true to who he said, to what he said. That's what you got to know. And so that is the word today. I think that was like all the points. Yeah, that was like all the points. Hopefully this blessed you guys. Um, Yeah. Have trust, you'll be good.